Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got a couple interesting things going on the screen here. First thing that's kind of interesting is uh, we got Make It A Bud here and we're on Make It A Bud's account. Welcome back Make It A Bud. How are you doing today? Yo, doing good. Um, stayed up late watching your stream last night, but oh, so I'm a little tired, but and I know you stayed up later, so um, but I feel good. But we're here and uh, we're bringing you guys a new rune exposing video as well as we're bringing you a special peek at you, there's something right in the middle of the island here that's definitely of interest. Make it away, can you tell everybody a little bit about this uh, this unit here? So this unit doesn't have the right skin, first of all, <laughs> and that's because back in the day I just picked red, blue, and yellow because I was like, dude, I'm never gonna pull a, a LD Nat 5 and so I like to, when you're summoning for people, occasionally like to uh, snipe, do a little sniperino, a little, little bit of, uh, or just summon alongside, right? And I like to just have some fun that way. And I think, I, I don't know how the algorithms work. I'm sure no one does except for the devs, but I always feel like it's more random because you have more trials going on during that time period. When you're summoning, I'm sure a lot of people are doing it. And when I do this on my own, I get hosed all the time. So this past week, I've been doing eight LD scrolls a day. And I figured for this session, for that day, and I think a few others, it's like, let's just like see when Mr. Uh, Brian is going and <laughs> let's uh, test our luck. And so I think this was like maybe halfway through like four or five scrolls. I saw lightning and I was like, all right, it's going to be another dupe. And then five stars and this big fat ass panda came out. <laughs> uh, and then I just started like my guild exploded and I just I swear. OD Nat 5 time gate. But I was like, ah, one just came up. I don't know if that's going to lower the chances. And then after mine, some other dude got a wet jab. Yep. Which was Three hilarious. Three LD Nat 5s. Like, Three LD Nat 5s in like the three. Six, 60 <clears throat> seconds with three LD Nat 5s in 808. That was insane. I was, what, I was. Wet jab is, wet jab is another animal. Uh, and then some dude got a Julie. So <laughs> congrats to that dude. Yeah, as well. I remember that. <laughs> But anyways, uh, we are on Chris's account, as you can see, uh, because of the hype LD Nat 5, and because it's actually been a while since we've done a rune exposing video for Make It About. I think we did one around two years ago, and if you go back and watch that, back then, those runes and those stats were pretty big deal. Nowadays, we, we, we he's on a totally different level. So Nowadays, let's go ahead that gets and, uh, trashed. <laughs> let's go ahead and dive right into it, because um, if you guys don't know, congratulations as well. He <clears throat> recently did Special League. <laughs> and I think he finally got his legend. So he's got three of these legend thingy bobbers here now. That uh, is correct. And now that I have a Tian Lang, we can easily add that fourth legend on Arena, not not World Arena. True. Arena. We can easily add that. And World That'll Arena. Be... Got it. World Arena. Got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and World Arena. No problem. Just mm. got to compete with uh, Yan Hong Jiana's. No worries. Um, we got, uh, we got what you got. You got, you got, you got, uh, you got Illudia. What, what else we got here? We got Illudia. Now we got Tian Lang. By the way, quick Wait, plug for any yeah, devs that are potentially watching, Eludia needs defense break on skill 3 no matter what. I tested it a lot in Special League, and it's, or not Special League, I tested a lot somewhere. I think it was the last Special League, not the 4 star, but the one after that, because points don't matter at that point. And it's utterly a dead unit when they're off will. So, please buff. Buff, please. Thank you. Yeah, defense break, no matter what, would be would be nice because the base speed is still pretty crap. So, I mean, giving it that is not going to be the end of the world. Yeah, and even if you up the base speed, it wouldn't do very much, actually, sure. I think. I think you, you need a defense break no matter what. Otherwise, straight up, I'd rather take a Gemini. Right, it has to strip to do. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gemini is a four-star. Exactly. That's it's conditional, so and that's no good. All right, let's dive into some of your runes here and uh, the stats of your units. So <laughs> this is Lucia. garbage. This is garbage. This is garbage. Guys, if you don't have anything close to this, you're definitely garbage. Look at this. Yeah, Violet Revenge, Speed, Defense, HP, with uh, decent attack subs. So I mean, let's it's a go solid to the, uh, the RTA RTA management, sir. Oh <laughs> yeah, has implemented that feature for a reason. Let's use it. I forgot. <clears throat> I forgot. It's still fresh. And, it could, and this one here still could be better. It is what it is. I don't like how we but can't scroll awkward. on the bottom. We can't scroll. Yeah, on the bottom. it's kind of weird that way. And also, here's another thing to note: like you can't. Well, I guess in here, like. You ruin things and like, I'll have two Gannies, you'll see later. Um, but when I play, I like to have a Ganny in storage because that's, a, one's Vio and one's Swift, so I like to differentiate between the two. Right. So what you do is you ruin it here and then you move it to storage, whatever you want in storage. Just like oh, I'll have two birds. Right. And so you actually have to ruin it here if you want to pick it from your storage and the runes will hold. Ah, uh, I see, if that I see, makes, I see. If that makes sense. So yeah. it takes a little work, but uh, you kind of have to set it up. Huh? Yeah, you do have to do a little setup for sure. Okay, this is nice though. I don't I don't like the <laughs> fact that I can't see the unit, like the actual uh, yeah. unit, you know? Yeah. yeah, like you almost have to click into the rune and then click each individual rune and like to see the rune build like that. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Uh. It is. It, it is what it is. Okay, but uh, Lucia looks pretty good. This is the RTA build then. This is actually a lot faster. Uh, a little less tanky, but has a lot more attack and is a lot faster. 
on the same uh, rune set. Violent Revenge, pretty standard there. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, Mina, this thing's been getting some action lately. Some big, big action lately. Taking that first turn <clears throat> and uh, really nuking those uh, those Daphnises pretty easily. So when I rune my account, one thing you'll want to look for is the speeds. Um, I tune it very, very precisely. So the Elusia is at 274, and that's supposed to go in front of Verd to unstick the Verd at all times. I and see. it's also supposed to go. It's supposed to, yeah. It's supposed to go in front of the Verd, in front of Tableau, and a few other units. It's kind of in the middle of the 270 range. The Mina at 292 is meant to outspeed Daphnises because Daphnises are typically 290, 280 something, but at the same time needs to tune under my Bastet with the Vanessa lead. So the Bastet has to be kicked up higher to about at minimum 303. So uh, see, literally see, those speeds have to all play together so that I can I can choose and pick. Um, I can kind of pick them interchangeably, knowing that they tune no matter what under any lead. I see, I see. So, so, so and also the Mina also needs a, a little bit of HP because if it's too squishy, uh, it gets hit once and it's it's dead. You want to be able to hit more than one time. Mm, I see, I see. <clears throat> yeah, the great thing about Mina is that she doesn't need much crit rate, which is so amazing. So you can focus all of the stats on crit damage, attack, and you know even having a little health in there to stay al alive. Even though she's usually pretty easy to kill, you got a decent amount of HP and defense on her, considering the other stats that you have. It's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, and the goal, and this is gonna take more fine tuning, but it's kind of like with Daphnis, you need to find the minimum of that amount of damage you need to one shot something, or if your goal is to two shot, you need to do that through testing. Right. And right. so I need still need to test, but this should be about enough to one shot with the Bastet lead. So crazy, man. Look at these efficiency of this one. <clears throat> ah, look, this is the Bastet at 303. Oh my god, 303. Considering the base stat is 99, that's great. And it's on well. And yeah, Bastet has to be on well, I think. Bastet has to be well. It's okay. I, I kind of slapped these on last night because I'm going to try it a bit more. But uh, it's it, the cleave, the, the lineup always starts with the Hathor, or if I counter pick, it's like Vanessa Ganey. And then I can choose to cleave them if I, if they, if I want, or I can choose to go slower with something else. And I, so I like the versatility that Bastet gives me. I like this quite, quite a bit. Yeah, one thing that people don't note is that, especially with oh, this is a crit damage Varad. Interesting. This is a, it's a punt. <laughs> the, ah. the Varad and Rusas are punts. I almost never pick them. I'll never pick the Varad. Like, like it's, it's, this is probably like a situation where, oh, I just want to like toy with the guy and you know he's like a perfect pick, right? Then maybe you'll draft it, but there's usually better options for you. I would almost never bring a Varad. I'd rather bring an Amina and snipe something off. Yeah. Or my, my Water Monkey, which is a lot more efficient and much more powerful than... Right. This Water Monkey King's really nice, especially on Violent, <laughs> violent Well. People probably can't even make these speeds and these stats with Swift. That's quite nice. It's not bad. And, and also, this is a tuning thing. So, like, the Water Monkey's at 285. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because it always needs to go in front of my Hathor, which is at 285. Right. And because of the higher base speed, it goes in front. And I need that to open up a hole with skill 3 so that if they're off a lot of will, my Hathor just sleeps everything. And then also, Daf because of that, Daphnis has to go in front of Hathor as well. Because I open up another hole with skill 3 if I choose not to kill something. I see, I see. I see. So tuning is incredibly important on an account that has a lot of interplay back and forth. This is crazy, guys. Every single room <laughs> is like 20-something speed, 20-something speed, 20-something speed. It takes a lot of... Yeah, you need, some, you need depth. And also, like, if your room quality sucks, or the, if, if, if you have like 10 good units and 10 bad ones, don't bring the bad ones. I, it's mm. almost, it's way better to bring a well ruined unit than a super poorly ruined up unit unless it's an LD. Yeah, I would say that we're giving some really good tips for people um, ruining up their units and um, you know setting up for RTA now that you have this separate RTA management, right? There's no excuse not to be doing any RTAs at all. Um, yeah, you might as well give it a go. Speed tuning is probably the most important and what make it up I just said. It's it, like these stats of these units are crazy, right? They're really, really efficient and they're really fast, but they're also speed tuned. So just because you can't hit these speeds does not mean that you you can't do very well but make sure everything is speed tuned that's the biggest issue people have in rta yeah. things aren't and if you look at the bulwark the bulwark's 292 right right the point of that is that at minimum with a 33 lead it needs to go in front of my hathor because this is another unit that can again open up a hole for the hathor and the reason why it's on high res is because i use this um into a lot of antares and into a lot of um, and you got this good amelia that's revenge and resistance <laughs> and exactly and, and i got that um but it's mainly because bulwark doesn't do anything on high higher hp or higher damage it just hits you right so you but, just may as well resist not get locked down so that's sad that's crazy the thing is that <laughs> What I just said about speed tuning, he's not just factoring the speed tuning normally, but factoring the speed tuning 
after leader skills. The leader skills that impact us are like Sierra and Vanessa, 33% lead, 24% lead. And it's on, it's it's the percentage of the base. So sometimes when mm. units have lower base speeds, you have to make the units with, you know, lower base speeds either faster or the ones with faster base speeds a little bit slower or else you're not going to get the right speed tuning. Yeah, you have to have the right amount of gap in between certain monsters, like whether it's two speed and whatnot. So you need to consider off lead or on lead because otherwise you have to, it changes the way you draft, right? And also like, like my gain is 278, my Hathor is 285. On a Vanessa, on a Vanessa lead, the Gany actually, whichever one I pick first will move first. That's why I will always take my Hathor in front of my Gany. Right, that goes to the next level, the next level thinking where if units are the same speed, the one on the left always goes first. So Correct. it can be done, but in your head, like how making about is like ruining here, he's going, he's at, he's telling himself, okay, when I draft, I'm almost always gonna draft this unit before this unit. So it's okay that I ruin it this way and have to pick it this way, right? Correct, so. exactly. And like, I don't wanna lose one speed on the Gany because every single speed matters just in case I need a Vanessa plus Gany and that's my fastest unit, I need that to be fast. Every every speed matters. Right, so, so Verd, yep. it's on the slow side. Um, oh, this and is I very say slow. slow. Very this slow. is slow. slow. <laughs> this is slow. Uh, it's on the slow side, but what's important about this unit is it got to be tanky. Verd has got to take a lot of shots. I you agree. know it's the target. People people are going to basically go after this and, you know, try to, this is target number one, so got to be tanky. So defense right. is important. Crit rate, I know it's not 100. You're gonna have people in chat that are gonna be like, this guy's an idiot, it's not 100 crit rate. It's fine, <laughs> it's fine, it doesn't need to be 100. Usually in most situations, you will crit, right? Um, <clears throat> especially if there's gonna be any win units, you'll you'll be smart enough to hit whatever particular target to usually crit. What do you think is a good leeway though, in terms of the crit rate? Um, I mean, or... I used to have 94 in that, honestly, or 90, 94 in that felt a little low, a little inconsistent because there are times in which you don't crit and it really blows. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it really blows when it doesn't crit. So I think 94 is fine. It is what it is. I see you're looking at the triple revenge vert and that that unit is strictly there just for Wunsa, Gianna, and one more AOE type thing. And it does not need to be fast because your goal is to triple revenge uh, and it needs to be tanky because people are gonna, again going to go after it. So, so people that I take just kind first of turn, leftover runes, right? right? People that take first turn, <clears throat> they get cucked by this because it, it, you get the attack age and you cut them, right? Is the basic. Yeah, I, uh, I bring this maybe it. one in a thousand matches. Like right. um, I rarely, rarely bring this. Like tritons are also good, uh, good to bring this against, right? If you're going to be letting it in for whatever reasons. Right. But I got the wounds, so like again, this unit doesn't mean much. I don't need this very much. But if you got extra runes laying around, just make the unit yeah, extra yeah, options. Extra runes this. laying around. This is probably the most reasonable unit we've seen so far. Great. <laughs> Sure. All right, we got Tessa here. Um, <clears throat> not used that much. I don't. You probably won't be drafting this much too. It's probably like another side pick for you, I assume. It is, and I made this build before I pulled that Tian Lang. Like it's made for like Arda Rags in case I want to try the Bruisery Fran Tessa build instead of trying to clean something down. I have two ways to deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I was thinking about Feng Yan Tessa, um, and I actually didn't never use the Wind Panda for a while, but I kind of slapped it on some runes. But so th it's here, and I may actually move these runes to a unit that maybe mix it into a Triana to turn a crit damage. Right now, Triana is not crit damage, but for now, this is your very standard Vio Revenge build where you need some tankiness. Uh, some attack, minimum like 65, 70 crit rate, and like hopefully 60 plus accuracy because you're bringing it into artists that generally have 100 rest. Right. Also, another important thing is to try to get your Tassarin to be ruined before whatever damage you learn. So if you're setting up to, to nuke, you get the defense break, you get the oblivion, and then you can nuke with whatever unit after. Correct. Like this Leica. Let's just say, for example, right? Just like this Leica, because he is technically speed tuned. To, to I, it is technically speed tuned. The Leica is a punch, too. I don't, you, I don't I, like I it. I doubt you'll be drafting these two together, but sure. Yeah, yeah maybe, exactly. Maybe I won't be drafting these two together, but I think Leica is a pretty bad unit. Like, you could bring back its old passive, and it's still not good enough i don't think in this meta i think it's fun i think they've they've put him into a better position right uh where he's not bad but he's not crazy good but he's fun you know what i mean a little bit harder to kill with that change of the passive a little bit nicer on the justice change overall so it's okay right it's yeah. it's definitely okay unit it's okay how's it's this, okay I how's this pern here though time. this pern is probably gonna be speed tuned to that yeah so a little bit slower yeah. to speed tuned to the tesla but do you actually use burner very often so I don't use it often, but it's used in situations where they have they go Leo on me, and I and speed doesn't matter. So I'm gonna be blowing up a lot of damage in their face, or in different weird situations where I have enough attack bar boost and get this thing to hit a lot of times. More so often for Leo, though. And again, I rarely use Perna because I play a lot of speed. Uh, my units tend to sit around the 270, 280 range on Bio. 
Um, so that's generally the speeds that my lineup will come out at you at. Yeah, you usually take first turn, right? And either A, you're controlling and chipping away damage, or B, you're just straight up nuking them and getting rid of them off the board. Pretty much. <clears throat> and this is a punt unit. Uh, I know Faint Mem likes to use this a lot. I think it's garbage, <laughs> but I, ha I have one ruined. And the reason why I have it ruined is Unviolent. because of the bass set. It's because of the bass set earlier. If they're on a lot of will, I can, if, my, if it makes sense in my last two picks, if I have maybe set up with the Daphnis or Water Monkey, I can fast set Brandia. The fast set will enable this and probably one shot. So it's another one shotting unit uh, and damage over time. It's got a bit of tank. It needs a little bit more attack, but. I think it needs a little right. bit more crit damage too, do you think? <clears throat> crit damage is just. A little bit. The damage is a little bit light, but the Brandia also has to have a little bit of tankiness. Otherwise, right, it's right. dead in two shots. That's true. That's uh, true. But I also need to think about where I want to bring this into it. I haven't really used it much. So these are kind of just whatever I thought. Would make sense. He basically it. built it to see Josh, you know, Fate Man test a little bit more. If it becomes more OP, he'll shift the runes out around a little bit, basically. If that, exactly. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. But he's been wanting to use this for so many years now, so I'm glad it got a little buff and maybe we'll see uh, Fate Man uh, test it out a little bit more. So. Yeah, hopefully we see it do some cool things, or, or maybe he's going to lose a lot of points in the process. Find True. Out. Early season, though, so. <sighs> eh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, and with the new point system, too, like, it matters. What matters is your win rate at the end, really. Looks like we got a nice looking uh, Google Play here. Google Play. Google Play is amazing, man. It's uh, best unit in uh, SWC 2019. True. Uh, and this is on the tanky side, not on the high damage side, but it's on the tanky side. Uh, and I changed it that way because I felt like this thing's the first target of choice. People go after this first. So I True. prefer to be a little tanky. When you win, it's when you go into the late game. So you're going to do a lot of damage anyways. Right. So you, it's get also, you also get the crit rate buff, you get the attack buff. The only thing I would say is a lot of people try to ruin on that high resistance, right? High resistance yeah. can actually win you the game because people really try to defense this break, defense break this thing all the time. You could, you could definitely do that. You do have to, you do get a lot weaker into verts when you do high res because you lose a lot of either attack or HP. Mm -hmm. Like one of the two has to go if you add res. How important, uh, do you you think, get... how important do you think Revenge is, <clears throat> Revenge is though? Like what if somebody had like fat nice. endure sets? Like, no, 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 I think it. Revenge is nice. Because mm -hmm. if something hits you that, that hits you, that revenges, and then it either despair stuns or slows, pretty toxic. Like I've uh, on stream yelled and screamed many times <laughs> because I've been revenged and then despair stunned, okay. you know, sworn many times because of that. Uh, throw my phone on the table, things like that. Uh, I see. Maybe not. It's a nice iPhone. I don't. I don't throw the phone on the table, but I'll I mean, get pretty. I, I would get. I would get upset too. But at this point, I feel like people are understanding it a little bit more. So it's like, eh, kind of get used to it over time. Uh, waifu doesn't. She, she gets really annoyed when I toss the phone on the table. Uh, <laughs> she says it scares her and stuff. So I, I gotta. I gotta control the rage. Let's see, I see. Is this? Uh, okay, this is Vanessa. Still on violent, right? Everybody's like, oh, the violent changes. I'm gonna take things off of violent and whatnot. But I yeah, think I still left it on violin. Oh um, also, because my vials are a lot better than Swift. Yeah, my vials are better than my Swift. Like, the other options to make it Swift at the same speed and make it even tankier, but there are times in which you want to proc it after your defense break, and it actually does a good amount of damage. So I kind of kept it on this for now, just playing around, seeing what it, seeing what it does. Um, and I don't see the harm in making it bio. Like, that 5% change... It, it, it matters over time, but over time you still need this to do more damage. It's a slower unit too, so your, your bio procs are worth more, if that makes sense. Right. Right, as opposed to a faster unit proccing, you know, there's like less juice per, per hit, if, <laughs> if that makes sense. Right. This so is really a look really fat Vanessa. This is so hard to kill, dude. This is <clears throat> actually so hard to kill. That's ridiculous. Yeah, this is another target number one, right? Because they got to go through it, so. Exactly, or they reset it, right? But nice Oki here. It's on will. Broken. It's on will. It's on will. Oh, will as in literally singular <laughs> will. It's on will. It's on will. We, we, it's a crit damage one. Ah, is it yeah, just because it's, it's a good crit damage? Dude, okay or? on crit damage with Gemini is so good. So good. It does yeah. so much damage. I, I it, too would like to is... build a 310 speed, 87 <clears throat> accuracy, high defense, decent HP, crit damage, uh, okay. Which just I gotta would... get the reaps and room packs, man. <laughs> no fun. Or get super lucky. Uh, but it's uh, crit damage Oki makes a huge difference. I've had this solo fire monkeys that weren't very well ruined. And then if you have a Gemini lead out with this, it's pretty GG off the bat. That's crazy that you're able to get these stats, man. These stats are like people just getting it tanky and getting it high accuracy and kind of high speed is already hard. But this is literally next level, dude. This is so fast. It's not bad. I, I, it's, I think it's my best ruined unit on my account. Efficiency wise, oh, it's, wow. it's pretty high. Yeah, because there's a lot of stats in here. Or so. This is like fast bruiser. 
Because if you're going to try this Oki build, it needs everything. It needs to live a little bit, it needs to do damage, and you can't sacrifice accuracy. There's no there's no middle ground in terms of accuracy. You have to have 85 yeah, or more, and there's no middle ground for the crit damage. If you have crit damage and you're squishy, you might as well just go tank. Don't even go crit damage, man. Because you're yeah, dead. This is, this is an Omega Whale unit. You, there's no... There's no uh, uh, sac there's no compromise on this. If you're gonna go crit damage on Oki, it's gotta be pretty balls out. Alright. Ooh, take a look at this <sighs> deafness here. Very, very nice. Very solid speed. I mean, <laughs> very fast. Got got some HP and defense in there too. Yeah, solid yeah. attack, solid crit rate, crit damage, and got that accuracy in there a little bit. Yeah, in an ideal world, it's a little tankier and more so on the defense side because defense scales better when you get shields. Exactly. Um, I agree. I mean, this is this is all I got after I sh shoved those runes on Oki. <laughs> so uh, the main point is your Daphne Daphnis needs a one shot. So you need to play around the damage to make sure it does enough to do that 32 or 33k. Right. Otherwise, like if you go back and watch some SFC plays and Daphnis didn't kill something, that literally failed, right? That your game is literally over if you don't kill a unit with this in a lot of drafts at the high level. So it's got a one shot. Yeah, it's, it sets up for that advantage three uh, four v three, right? But if you miss it, it either A, yep. you didn't you didn't strip, you didn't <clears throat> defense break, um, you didn't do the enough damage, you're kinda screwed. Exactly. Like and, and missing it or whatever it is, that's game over. So it needs a one shot. Oh, here's a unit that's been getting <laughs> a lot of hype. Rocky. This is uh, I haven't tried this one, but this is what I imagine it being kind of ruined for. Like it needs to be semi tanky, semi ish. Basically tanky enough that if it's on will, if it takes a few shots to the face before it goes off, it can live. Right, Same right. thing with Illusion. It's got to be able to take a shot or two to the face just in case. Although I don't really use Illusion. But then it's got to do damage. So right. this is kind of just something I threw on for now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't anticipate taking it much because I have... I'm a new dirty LD abuser with the uh, Tianlite. So you, you, Rocky and Tianlite don't work. You abuse people that have that Vanessa or Triana anyways just by... <sighs> beating them if they're going to be drafting that route you're pretty much most likely out speeding them so i mean it's i go just... verd i go verd when they do that because mm -hmm. if that vanessa triana is very weak to verd so then i don't really need the rocket right. but again if you got the runes just just throw it on there why not and of course uh everybody should build rocky for guild wars i think this has literally made guild wars life so much easier it just goes through oh, everything. Yeah. everything yeah, it just yeah. goes through everything it's so easy you don't even have to build it that tanky like this for guild wars since you're controlling yeah. the situation a lot better and no one likes to do guild wars anyways right so you want to get your wings so Rocky gets you there faster. True, <clears throat> very true. Crit damage, Vela Jewel with some pretty good stats. The efficiency is pretty nice on this thing here. Got a decent amount of yeah, stats. Yeah, I think it has my best slot four CD on Vio, and I might have to remove that and put it on something else. Um, mm. But I, I didn't find another unit to put it on. I may make my Triana's crit damage instead with this, but Vela Jewel got that buff, so I got to try it out. Right, it's two just turn punishment. That's so crazy, yeah. two turns, it's like a Perna. And, and the thing yeah, hits it hard, dude, hits hard. Yeah. He yeah. does a ton. It just needs the right setup. Anytime a unit is tanky and a unit does damage, you know, based on being tankier, that that's a good unit, man. Can't complain. Artemel, right? <laughs> Artemel. Well, we do have to say Artemel has please? definitely uh, definitely died off a little bit, right? It's a little bit easier. I would say so. I would say so. But it's it's with the nerf to Vio, it's a little bit better. Yeah. All right, so uh, Lucian, I assume you draft in from time to time, given the right situation, since you're taking. First if I'm if I'm punting my game, I, I pick this. Mm. <laughs> I think I think I'm like 50% win rate with it. It's it's, it's pretty fast it's though. Pretty it, it will it will kill whatever is out there if uh, yeah. if you're drafting it in for sure. I will never pick this without the Bastet. This mm. has got to be paired with the Bastet and also in a draft where if they ban the Lucian, I have enough damage to kill them. Right, right. That's the condition you gotta do when you when you draft something like this. Oh, here's the Fengyan that you're talking about. <clears throat> this is a oh Nemesis Fengyan. Speed defense. I just had these runes laying around. Yeah, okay. I had the runes laying around oh. for it. So yeah, I too would love to it. have these runes laying around. Oh. Okay, this is uh, pretty fat. Not super high res though, but uh, pretty fat. And I guess the Nemesis gives it more attack res. H too. Yeah, I mean, it's more of like with the offsets, these were the runes that made it the best Feng Yan. Like I could have put Endure and I wouldn't have had better runes in this. Uh, so this is what stuck. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's why I went with that. And yeah, Cause, cause the Nemesis typically, the typically the Nemesis doesn't give you much value here because nobody really yeah, is going to be hitting this guy. So the Endure yeah. or the Energy of the Guard would be better. But hey, if it gives you these stats and it's far greater, then you got to go with it, right? Yeah, like having the speedy slot one allows me to take a slower slot five, right? We talked about in the other video that you reference a lot. Exactly. It's about what other runes you're allowed to bring in because I have a fast slot one. I now don't need that speed from the other slots. So you want your fat runes in there. Right. Yeah, and if you guys didn't see that video, I highly recommend it. We will post it up right here. Definitely, guys, check out this video. 
it, it is a video <clears throat> that is really, really good to learn about runes. A lot of people, I tell you, you think you know runes, but you really don't. This is like the advanced version. You watch this video, you understand this video, you're probably gonna know more than the general population on runes. And of course, it's the video that I did with Make It A Bud. I actually learned a lot from it as well. So it was actually really good. It's definitely referenced a lot. It's a good video, man. All right, Ganny here on Nam. Interesting. Explanation. Because I ran out of will runes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was so like, I had a I got, on that. I'm waiting for the, uh, waiting for the five minute five hit there, explanation. There's also, there's also side benefit where like, in the beginning onset, I want my Gany to go under my team. But later on, if it takes one shot to the face, it goes in front of my team, which means it can now vent the rest of my team. So oh, it's true, actually true. not bad to be on them. It's more efficient in terms of cooldown usage over time. Right, so, right, right. I mean, yeah, I ran out of well so that that it is like I am weak to Okies there, but I am also slightly better into Giannis. So hey, uh, true, actually true. No, no idea if that's a win-win yet or, or how that pans out, but that's yeah, didn't have the uh, Wilkins. Very very Scuff. fat as well. I, I like this Ganymede. Let's take a look at the second Ganymede. This one's a swift one, right? Here we go. Yeah. So the reason why this is this could be faster, obviously, but it's specifically at 308 because the Gemini is at 312. And so when I bring in a lead, a Vanessa lead, the only way to have this Swift Gany go under the Gemini is to bring in, is to make it 308 tops. It tunes with the Gemini. Oh, and I'm so not going to bring in the Swift Gany unless I have the Gemini. Imagine having to slow your unit down to 308, guys. Just to be tuned. Slowing it down to 308 to tune with this fella here. Who's at <laughs> 312. Oh my god. Because you gosh. have to tune, man. <laughs> Gotta tune, man. I'm just, I'm just admiring the speeds. Everything. I'm admiring the speeds is what I'm doing, basically. This is nice. Tuning is everything. I, oh, I should have clicked that. I should have been like, oh, this is on despair. <laughs> <laughs> and, not, and, not, yeah, and not clicked it. This is and a don't click it. Gemini. Not clicked in. Oh, and Everybody the other thought, challenges you would be so scared, dude. The one, you could also make a super squishy Gemini on Nemesis, or at least Faint Nem said you could. I tried it, it didn't quite work, but my Gemini was too tanky. But if you make it super squishy, if a Leo hits it, you might still go in front. Uh, I tried it, oh. with, and it was tough. It was tough. I, I, and I'm not comfortable making a super squishy Gemini, but that's something I was playing with for a bit. This is too tanky for that. Okay, but this is for when I want to cleave people down. Um, generally, you open with like half or Daphnis, Vanessa, or something like that. So if I bring in a Gemini and they let the Gemini through, they're either going to be losing a unit through Daphnis or getting slept all the way through with Hathor, right? right. And they leave the gem if they ban the Gemini, then I have a Vanessa plus a Daphnis lead. You're still losing a unit. That's right. why I really like the Gemini. It's a win-win, and this unit is a really good unit. Probably <coughs> one of the best HOHs given out. There's a couple that have been really good. This is one of the best HOHs. People look for this that miss that HOH. Like, they want to summon this HOH. Dude, this unit's insane. This unit's insane. If you don't have it, it's a big win to pull it. I think, I think the only thing holding this unit back is maybe base stats to be, like, like some some somewhere HP and defense. But other than that, it's because uh, it's an attack type, right? Um, it's yeah. really good. The kit is really nice. Definitely. Speed's great. Yeah, base speed's great. I can't complain. <clears throat> All right, here's that Sierra. This is this used to be that OP Sierra. How is it now in terms of efficiency? It's a little different now. It's a, yeah. it's actually less damage than two and a half years ago, believe it or not. Right. Uh, it's just a lot. It's a lot tankier and it's a lot faster and higher. It's a lot of rate. defense. It's a lot of defense in there. Yeah, and the point of this one is with the speed lead, it's at 244 is the right amount of speed uh, for it to be, a, I think it's like a 13 or 12 tick unit. Ticks don't matter very much because there's a new thing was found out. I know you have a ticks video. We did Back that. Then, we, we did that. We did that. And we thought that ticks were based off of like 7% equals a tick. Right. Meaning it's a lot larger ticks, um, but they're actually a lot finer. They're a lot smaller. It's like 1.5% or something like that. So I built it into my spreadsheet. Um, but because of that skill one getting you 45% attack bar, right? In theory, the crit rate's higher here. Ticks do matter because uh, every little bit of... there's. Ticks do matter, basically. It's kind of, you You only need to fill 55% each time. Right. So 240, 244 is pretty optimal for this. Otherwise, I slow it down to like 223. I see, and try to get more stats, right? Yeah, it's speed is everything when I'm tuning these, yeah. Maybe we can do a, a, another video in the future um, <clears throat> re-talking about that and giving some people some, some speed caps to kind of hit and minimums uh, in the future. It only matters on oracles, though, because you only oh, have really? 55 attack bar hit. Yeah, uh, or like a dollar where you're getting 50%. So like for the others, it's not really worth it. Like, you could make it, but it's literally just for oracles. Um, so so there's that. Like, it's only for it's only for oracles because you're only filling 55% attack bar. Well, what about the discussion of if you're using a Verd, right? Having it could be beneficial or using units that, you know... Yeah, you, could, you, could, get really, then... you could get really, really specific that right, way. Right. Say, okay, I assume a Verd shot. 
I only have sixty percent to fill. What's the optimal amount? Sure, right. You could, right. You could definitely think about. And I think like I that. think maybe we'll do that video in the future. It'll be like more of an advanced video, right? Because I think there's actually a lot of players. <laughs> yeah, a lot of players like in like yeah. C three that take it seriously, right? And they want to try to learn more and improve. So they want to know these advanced things. But yeah, it's pretty minute from what uh, I've heard. It's, as it's well. a pretty advanced. It's a very math heavy, math heavy and lecture heavy topic for sure uh people are gonna be bored out of their minds in that one but uh, you'd be surprised okay. who's uh be interested but we'll keep it in mind for sure all right we've got leo here <laughs> obviously to pick yep. in certain situations where you feel leo is really good but i feel like most of the time when you draft most people pick this potentially against you rather than you picking it against them and it's a really big surprise when i do whip it into them so I'll, I'll whip in a Leo when I have like a Sierra Hathor on the field or something like that. Because Sierra's mm. very good with Leo. Right, right. Uh, and Fran is not bad. You just lose your speed investment, but it's still tanky enough. Right. So Leo is not a bad pick for me either. I, I do need to pick this more. It's a big surprise when I do pick it. Here's your Triana here. Very, very fat. We're talking 40 something thousand HP off will, especially against for the Daphnises. Yeah, on Violent, really, really fat. Even got some attack in there to do some damage. Got that speed in there because skill one is speed scaling, so pretty solid. Definitely not on crit damage though, not even on some crit rate. Uh, do you do you think you want to change that in the future to crit damage or to at least just some crit rate? Because, you know, it could be beneficial. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about making it so into crit damage. And I'm going to need to play with it more because I traditionally actually never draft Triana because I'm very good into Triana and I think it's a very slow unit. I don't like dealing with it, but people are running a lot more me Minas a lot more, not that mean, this is multi-hit, multi-hit kind of gets through this, right? But right. Minas and a lot more nuking units. So if this is on crit damage, this deals with that pretty well. This mm -hmm. solves that problem. However, you lose the ability to tank Mo Long shots, Perna shots, if you are on crit damage. So that's right. the trade-off you're looking at between these two. But realistically, people are going away from Mo Long Pernas anyways. Well, the other thing people use this for is against Daphnises, right? And even though you're off yeah. well, um, if you're kind of squishy with the crit damage, it, it kind of hurts because then it sets yeah. you up to get nuked by something mediocre right after. It doesn't even have to be that hard hitting. It can finish Exactly, right? You have to survive that Daphnis non-defense broken shot right. plus something else. Hathor <clears throat> here, this is, this is on bio, right? Oof. Uh, yeah, so this is on Violent Will. And this is what I... When I ruined, I pegged this for I pegged this speed first. Look at this, this is my five star rune. Oh my god! I know this is this is a interesting story. So I was this was SWC one before Thompson was playing RTA really, and we were in the I think you were there. You I think I there. was here for this. I think I remember. And Claytano was there. Yep. Uh, Childish might have been like there's a lot of people there. Uh, Shredded Puzzle was there. It was in that hotel room, right? And I bought this five star rune from the shop with uh, four base speed. And it rolled 20 straight. Thompson's sitting right next to me looking at it. I couldn't believe his eyes. He's like, You're, he first of all thought I was an idiot for buying this room <laughs> that had four base speed. And I it was would a buy it with mana? For mana? I'd buy that with mana. <laughs> and I was like, man, watch yeah, this. Right. And then it started rolling. And then once it went off, we just went nuts. And you know what's funny is, uh, during that exact same moment in that room, Chris really wanted a Hathor. He never had a Hathor oh, yet. Yeah. And I summoned uh, Robbie. He is a, a G German streamer. He asked me to do his summons, right? Because he wanted some, some luck. One wind scroll. This guy. Hathor. <laughs> this guy. I used to call it Hather, by the way. That's why I say Hather. I used to call it Hather, but it's Hathor. But I summoned him Hathor in one, uh, one wind scroll. He was so, so upset. So it's funny how this rune made it onto Hathor as well. I think that's really, really funny. That's true. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that's got a lot of nice. history to yeah, it, man. But very standard Hathor, right? Speed, <clears throat> no, very fast, though. Very tanky, high accuracy. 85 or more is usually the recommended. And then, of course, yep. um, at the right speed tuning, depending on what, well, you know, the, the speed of your account. Yeah, it could be slightly tankier, but because uh, the accuracy is actually over 100% here. It's like 110. Right. Um, but I don't really have the right combination to make it tankier. So without sacrificing speed, and obviously I want this unit to be fast. Here's Diana. This is a unit that people are saying might be a little bit more in storage because of the violent rune changes. Um, yeah, it's definitely not as good now. And I also have a Tianlang, so I'm never really going to take that. I, I, I eat Diana's for breakfast now. I heard I Diana eat... and Tianlang go very well together, though, Kappa. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? I want to do a uh, dick around, sure. Uh, we're very uh, standard uh, <laughs> Diana here. One of the most important things to note is that you need to have a 100 crit rate. It's very, very important. It's very, very important to have 100 crit rate. Even 99... Chris will tell you it's it's a trash Diana if it's literally got 99 crit rate. Yeah, because you got a 4% chance to miss one. And if you miss one, you're probably dead. Um, so you want to do that. This ideally is on will, but like the dis destroy runes were decently statted. So at the end of the day, long term in the match probably doesn't make a very big difference. And I also don't pick this very much. Yeah, also, depending on your draft too, I mean, again, it does avoid the daphnesses. Things that are off will that are wind, I mean, it, it helps to yeah, be true. a goal against I mean, daphnesses. 
This is a Daphnis nuke target, right? If it's on Will, for oh, sure. Hundred percent. Shimite. Okay. <clears throat> Depending on how you're drafting, because I know you like the speed leads, you like the nukers. This is definitely a unit in the repertoire, right, of being drafted. Yeah, and it's more from special league. I use Shimite oh, a lot, right. so I figured I'd give it a go. But um, I'm realistically not going to take it very much. Um, but I have it just in case. And I need to figure out how to use it slot three on something else because I don't think that's the right slot three on it. This is should be on something else. Um, uh, but I need to go back and re-optimize a little bit. True. And depending um, on who you put this on, you might even swap to a legend accuracy. It just depends. Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a little low on accuracy too. I think Shimitazen would be a bit more like twenty something, right. thirty something plus. Right, right. Um, but it's not bad. Something. Yeah, it's, it's something I'll try at some point if I'm. Especially because it was four star, right? And you need the speed lead, so it's one of the better options. But you know, with regular RT season and more nat fives, more speed options like Sierra Vanessa, you you might be opting out of this. Yeah, option. probably. Probably. Oh damn! Wow, <laughs> this is actually. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to put the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? what happened there? Hold up. <laughs> oh man. Ah, Imagine if we never happened. saw this. He would never. He would just be asking the world why he's never in despair stunning. Okay, this is I'm so glad we made this video. <laughs> when I was ruining it, it's a rune there. Uh, this is a, I, I, I must also say though, despite the missing the spare rune, um, this is a very fast what am. Decent, ap decent resistance. Not the fattest what am I've seen, but very fast, very very fast. Yeah, I, I like to have a little. I th well, that's why the res is only seventy three. It's supposed to be a hundred res. What, what's the, uh, what's so, the, what is it on? What, what is the uh, despair? Uh, despair and then sort by res. And then that's see it's on a different it's on a second Hwadam. So that's why I didn't take it. So take the Hwadam rune here on the left. Oh it's a second a oh this is Yeah, the thank you. Okay, cool. Gotcha. See, this is uh, another uh secretary work that I haven't gone past the rune units. Got you. Uh but this is the Hwadam. It's a little slower. There we go. And it, it is uh high res. Still faster than most people's Hwadams. Yeah, I think you still need a little bit of speed just to dis do some disruption. Right, gives him so some gives him some action. Move. Since he's on despair, it gives him some action. Taking turns, maybe stunning with AoE. Right, even single target gives them more of a purpose than just a sitting duck, kind of just sitting and exactly. you know, taking the hits. Okay. Yeah, and this is I'm gonna try this, but it's like from special league. Um, like I used to counter in four star, I countered Dozer Cleave with like Triana Hwadams, uh, and in this situation, I can go Vanessa Triana Hwadam and try that method of countering right. Cleaves. But I also have a tier nine, so I, I may not need this. Ooh, Tableau. This is definitely a unit that you definitely enjoy using, right? Very tanky, very fast, high accuracy, and violent well. Special League? It's fun. I don't, I don't use it very much. In Special League, I actually didn't use this very much. I oh, preferred really? to snipe things off, of, off the bat. But this sits at 269. Nice. Oh, and nice. it needs to be a little bit faster, I think, because everything that I use that has action is 270, 280, right? High 270s, 280s. Right. This is the base. This is the floor. So this should be faster. I just don't have the runes to put it on Will and make it faster this is so i need to maybe move it off well it's we'll trash see. it's too slow yeah of course okay moving yeah. on friend yeah unviolent okay so like you said the 270 range is what you're running uh very <laughs> tanky how's your attack look uh, not bad not bad i mean I've, I've seen more attack on friend though but keeping it alive is probably the major thing definitely cycling the turns as well so it's a pr pretty solid friend right what does this go uh this goes after your deafness right most people ruin their friends after deafness but it's I think really, really hard to move a violent friend in front of a swift hat. It's, it's so very that hard. didn't happen. It's very hard. It's, you're either going to have a really, really OP friend or a really bad Daphnis or somewhere in the middle. Um, but this is more for just someone in the in between. Still still got to be fast. This will, oddly enough, go in front of my Tian Lang. Um, so if there's any benefit, I, I guess that's a little bit of a benefit. But I just need this to be tanky. The goal of Fran is to be super tanky. The attack is nice. I think that's the bare minimum you need. But Fran is a monster that's going to carry you late in the game as you get more attack anyways. Right, so right, true. you want a little bit more defense than HP too because it scales better later. True, true. This is a lot of defense. Especially with a 461 <clears throat> base. That's a lot of defense. It's a lot of defense. It's it's and speaking of defense, he even has even more defense. He's a very tanky Lauren and a very fast Lauren. Again, another fast Swift set here. Very so solid. Lauren has to be tanky because it's target number one or two. Always, dude. This Lauren is not on revenge. It's on broken because most Giannas are at 301, 302, 300 flat. And this is this speed is designed just to go in front of a Gianna straight up. If I had, if they have no lead, I have no lead, um, or we both ban out leads. This needs to go in front of a Gianna. So this is not great into like the top ten Giannas, but this will be good into like most Giannas out there. 
Right, and even if let's say you're Gianna, the Gianna goes first, at least you're off well, so you can make something happen potentially. Sure, Just exactly, off, yeah. Off timing. The accuracy, uh, though, are you okay with that? Or are you more trying to get around 60, 70? I mean, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference unless they're at literally... So you would literally be talking about an Artemel, or which which does make a difference there. Or, right, it's a big counter to Artemel. Um, yeah, but even at 50, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'd rather it be tanky. Um, but in the past, I ran Lauren at 60 flat, and it was fine. So I, I think losing 7 is okay. Okay, um, good to know. I, I guess there's multi-hits, right? So there's a little bit of yeah. a leeway on that since there's multiple hits activated. Yeah. How about this? Yeah. Oh my god. Take Great a unit. Dude. Yeah. Great unit. This is back in Special League when I didn't have my... So if it's my rep monster because I wanted to be a dirty LD user. Ah, um, I see. And, and Magnum also really sucks unless you have some sort of accuracy and can strip something. Because if you don't strip something, it, it's damage is next to nothing. Yeah, he's pretty fun so. with the passive, right? Gaining whatever <clears throat> uh, beneficial effects are granted. So it's kind of nice. It takes a lot of turns. You can hit pretty hard. It does take hurt. a lot of turns. Yeah. But your opponent controls it. So that's another thing I don't like about this unit is your opponent controls if it moves or not. Mm, I like that. Make it up a relaxing. Yeah, and you control. always want control in your opponent. Yeah, make it up a relaxing like control. Got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, we got a Dover right. here. I don't think we draft this unless we're going against something really slow, right, dolls or something? Uh, we draft this if they're off will. Okay. It's very tanky, and like the point of the bombs is strictly to do a little bit of damage, but to stun. This I is mean, a really at the end of the day, unit. it's still a stun. Yeah, it's a big yeah, control it's unit. It's a good control unit. So if they're off will, I can punish them with this pretty hard. Uh, it's actually on very decent runes, too. Yeah, it's a lot of stats. Uh, it's, it's a lot gotta of have enough accuracy. Um, speed used to be a lot slower, actually. You see a lot of people like J Mac and and Fate Memory run even slower Dovers that are tankier. Um, but I, I think a little bit of attack is nice. They have literally no attack. I have kind of in the middle. It's kind of a hybrid. Right. All right, I'll save Tian Lang for last year. We got a couple more. Uh, we got Miho. I mean, <clears> I guess if you were gonna draft it in, uh, I did a video with Topa recently. If you guys want to okay. check that out, and there's so many videos I want to show you. This video right here <laughs> that I did with Topa, we're trying to do more of these because I think people really enjoy them, collaborations and whatnot. And we give some great tips and insight on Mio, not just the basic, you know, stuff that you know about her, but we give some good insight. Um, obviously, I don't think you use her too much. She's probably just a fun toy for you. Yeah, I don't use it, but again, those uh, on Vamp Nemesis, you're never going to use that specific set of runes on anything else. So you may as well have this in your back pocket in case you want to showboat on stream or you want to do something different. Um, or you just feel like running a cat, why not? Or if you want a triple cat, right? Or a double cat, Mina, Miho, and then I can take a rune up a Naomi if I want to triple True. cat. Amduit here, I guess, uh, quick damage Amduit, so a little bit on the squishier side on Nemesis, right? This thing this thing gains a lot of turns though, but... Uh... Yeah, I kind of... Uh, this should not be on res, it needs to be way tankier, but I hadn't put runes on it. Like, I just kind of kept it with whatever swap gave me, um, just a pencil in. But I'm also not going to take this because I have a Tian Lang. Like, oh, I'm never going to sure. take this unit anymore because sure. I have a Tian Lang. You got so... a better disrupt in, a disruptive unit. Exactly. So I might just, like, get rid of these runes or, or rune up my Juno. Whoa! The Bay, dude. Yeah, well, you use this, right? Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was unruned. It's, uh, this rune, this unit sucks so hard. It's on good runes, dude. It's on decent runes. It's very good Bruiser runes. Um, but that buff that Countess gave it did nothing for it. Yeah. Uh, if, if anything, it just prevented it from getting a future buff. The the style of unit, the bay here, like that they made it into, is never really gonna have like that crazy potential. So it's it's unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. Yeah, it, it kind of just sits there, right? If an ally dies, it gets a shield. So basically, if you're gonna lose the game, he gets a shield and gets to sit there longer. <laughs> like basically, great concept, right? And he doesn't do enough damage, so that's the problem. HP scaling, but just not enough scaling. If you gave him Ragdoll's passive, Ragdoll's still better than this. Oh, oh yeah. And I, and I, oh, yeah, right? yeah, because of the kit of Ragdoll. Ragdoll is still yeah, better, and that's yeah, how bad this is, and this is how good... Uh, it doesn't matter if you give the Ragdoll passive, but that's how bad this unit yeah, is. Yeah, give this thing Ragdoll passive and give it to me. I, I'll, I'll use it. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it too. I'm okay if you give it Ragdoll's passive. <laughs> All right, we have a Wunsa <laughs> here at... Oh, this is pretty slow. Kind of slow, actually. Slowed it down by one speed because I incorporated, I had to take a rune and put it on a tan line. Uh, 330 speed. Uh, yeah, my friends. Most of you guys would not even outspeed this with speed lead and with him not having speed lead. So good luck with that. This is very and fast. it does matter. So I, I think a lot in speeds when I draft, right? It actually does matter every single speed on this because a lot of times I will be in situations where I'm drafting this into a lead plus a booster. So a Sierra Bastet, this thing needs to outspeed that. Right. A lot of times I'll draft assuming I can outspeed that, which is a greedy assumption, but I think it's pretty fair right now. You I'm, should until be maybe able to outspeed that, that technically because of the fact that that Bastet would have to be like, even with the 24% lead, that Bastet would have to be like 306. 
And we also exactly. have to factor in the little bit of from the, your speed tower of the base speed of 118 versus 99, right? So Correct. Um, That's why every speed matters. If it's at 328, I, I don't out... There's a certain, a much larger number of bass sets that I don't outspeed. Right. So every speed actually does matter on this unit. But the good news is that most of the times if they're ruined that fast, hope you would hope that the rest of their team is not speed tuned to it, so you may cut. But <laughs> yeah. I feel like if you got if they're the top player, most things are speed tuned. But there's a chance that you'll be able to cut, especially at these yeah. speeds. Praying to cut is not a long term winning strat, but <laughs> I have been in that. I have been there before. Where yeah. I've been outside very surprisingly, had to pray and then got hosed. Nice. All right, last unit, cream of the crop, new LD Nat five, his pride and joy, Tian Lang. Like, give me some info on this. Yeah, I so we'll be, I haven't actually tested this build out. I'm testing, I, I, I just put this on. Last night I had it on Swift instead. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem with Swift that I found was that A, you're not stripping as much. I'm not max skill, max skill up either. Okay. How the devils. But if you miss your strip, you're kind of dead. And so I want, I wanted this to go, I think a lot of speeds, right? So I wanted this to go in front of my Hathor and my Gany. So that's why I wanted it on Swift. And that sets up your team better. But if you miss strips, you lose or you're in a really rough spot. So from that standpoint, also I don't have the ability to stun throughout the game as much. So kind of a lot of things lost there. I'm also gaining a lot of attack bars, so the speed doesn't necessarily matter that much. So the next question is like, well, if Swift is not the answer, because I also had to nerf a lot of my units by making this like plus 211 Swift. Mm. So what's the build, right? Violent, I didn't feel like was going to do me very much. A, because I have to use my Violent runes for other things. Yeah. Uh, and B, at the same time, I also feel like um, you're gonna lose the ability to stun or to stun on skill one, and skill two doesn't stun as much. So despair made sense, um, and the, this is slightly under my my Gany, my Daphnises, and then my Monkey Kings that 285 range. But if something ticks this up, this goes in front. Also, throughout the course of the game, I don't like in my opener. I don't have to skill two off the bat. Skill one is perfectly fine. Or if I don't have a Hathor. Skill 2 is great. So it's fine to be on this. And the point of this is I still need to tweak it, but I can do some math to see like what kind of Tianas I want to cut uh, based off of attack bar gains and how much this gains. And I'll, I'll have to be, be more precise with that. But generally with Tian Lang, it's got to be minimum 40k HP, 47k HP, like 12, 1.2k defense. Accuracy, I'd say minimum 55 because I'm bringing this into Artemis a lot. The other thought process on why I moved to Despair is because I am bringing this into Ragdolls and Artists a lot, and this is a really good counter, so I actually gemmed out on my slot 3, gemmed out crit rate, because I want to make sure my crit rate is lower. Right, you have literally uh, the minimum crit rate, which is the base 15, so yeah. this is really This is not stuff. a damage dealing unit, this is a this is a disruptive unit, and I don't want it to boost the Ragdoll up. It's, so a, it's I don't a big support unit crit. for sure, definitely. Yeah. But it sets so, up. It sets up a lot. It sets up a lot for you, with the stuns and the defense breaks for you to do. The yeah, and then revenge is just kind of icing on the cake. I, I actually think will is unnecessary because you're going to be boosted in front anyways. I don't right. think will is necessary. You're a target for Daphnis. I am now weak to Gannis and semi weak to Okies. But if they're bringing Oki into me, they already kind of lose in a little bit, right? Right. right, right. So um, I still playing around with this whether I want Will or not, but I think for now off Will is what I wanted. So if I'm off Will, I want an offset that does something. Okay, I like this. Uh, I'm curious to hear more as you test this Tian Lang out. But uh, yo, yeah. make it a bud. Thank you for your time, man. Thank you for letting us expose your units here. Looks like you're ranked 126, so we'll see how far you get uh, moving on in the season. Yeah, appreciate we'll you being here. Appreciate your time. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave some comments down below. Let me know what unit you thought was nuts. What unit that, you know, you, you, you just admire the most, right? There's always units that you have on your account you're trying to ruin. And I think <clears throat> these are definitely some runes and some stats to definitely um, <clears throat> shoot for and go for, right? Uh, thank you for your time, make it a bud. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you guys enjoyed this, also let me know by, uh, uh, let me know what more you guys want to see. Who else should I bring onto this kind of video series? And I'll try to do some more of these in the future. But as cool. always- Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, appreciate it, man. That's but as always, super, super cool. oh yeah, actually, go ahead. Is there anything else you want to uh, uh, put out there? Anything you want to shout out? Oh, th and thanks for fixing my hot M. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for fixing my hot M. That's the, that, was, that was good. That was good. It's, be, it's good to be able to like, you know, see that and then fix, fix the units. So uh, okay. it's good to be able to share my thoughts, right? Yeah. I, I like to be able to share the thoughts behind the builds, you know, and also hear what you think about it too, right? Right. You know? Yeah, I love, I love to hear. Sense, so I love to hear. I love to pick at your brain. I love to hear uh, the things that you have to say. 
So, yeah, definitely hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, make sure you guys leave those comments down below. Can't stress it enough because uh, I love looking through them. Making Up looks uh, loves looking through them. I want to put his link in my description as well for his Twitch channel because he streams every Friday or at least sometimes more than one times a week. But uh, Whenever I am permitted to do so. <laughs> so that generally... Yeah, so whenever he's permitted to do so. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next live streamer video. Peace out, YouTube.